the liar's remorse. From a letter dated January 23rd, the 21st century. That thought never occurred to me to replace her in my mind with Betty. Oh, I had never thought of that before. <laughs> it was a good idea, for sure. <sighs> if I pretended that she was Betty. Yes. 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 That might undo a lot. Oh, that was what I wanted when I saw her in my eyes there in the kerosene lamp kept flickering its flames rekindling the old fire inside I shouldn't have been lying to myself all this time Believing this to be something else. It was always what I wanted, wasn't it? Betty to be back. Amanda twisted her hair while growing impatient with me. Maybe there was a question I forgot to answer. Or maybe I just forgot to say anything while I was lost in my thoughts. She reminded me. George, George, would you change meeting her before me? Oh, yes. The question was brought back to my attention. Maybe I should lie, but I don't like to lie, it's true. Oh dear, what should I do? And so the words finally came from my lips, and the courage too. Yes, if I could undo what happened, I would, my dear. I would undo what happened, I said. Amanda tugged at my sleeve. Undo what, George? Beating her first? Oh, I'm sorry, I said. We had big plans to marry and have kids someday and use our savings to buy a nice house in Hollywood Hills. I even paid the priest. I bought the ring and booked the chapel. Yes, the chapel, the little one, just north of here, north of Hollywood. But you never told me what happened, George. It was fate, as they say, my dear. <laughs> Another man. Another man it was, indeed. A terrible tragedy, yeah. Terrible, indeed. An affair, she asked. No, 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 not that, I said. The thought of her death brought terror to me. It brought lots of regrets, too. Yes, it was another man. For a moment, I didn't want to replace Betty with Amanda in my mind. Amanda with Betty in my mind. But I had to. Yes, I had to. Since Amanda was here, and she trusted me. I wanted to stop everything. You must believe me. 
That was enough for me, but then she had to ask, Who was the man? I had wanted the truth out of my mind, that truth especially. I had to close my eyes again, and yes, we live that face I saw before he was executed in the lime green glass chambers. I had to relish how his spiteful eyes stared back as the gas settled around his face, his chest fluttering, <laughs> his lungs frantically gasping for air. Oh, yes! Uh, how his skin turned dark and purple and all the oxygen was stopped away in his skin. Ah, oh, I was so happy. <laughs> I, how happy I was to watch him die. It was great pleasure. I was glad. I waited so long for them to discover that it was him. <laughs> yes, he was dead, so dead. Uh, I relished his flesh turning purple as I watched him die. Uh, but then I thought of Betty and her death too. I had to rethink things. I had wanted this truth out of my mind for so long. How could I tell Amanda the truth? <laughs> <laughs>